everyone, this is the zone, the art zone. I'm Bronson and today we're going to create some very remarkable arts and crafts. We will only use materials found around the house and the natural world. You will be amazed at how easy it is to create with things you usually throw out. Today we are going to hook up with Kimmy, be creative, artistic and resourceful. I'm going to show you how to collect materials, build a house and some wonderful guests are going to drop by. Let's get into the zone. Welcome to the art show. Today we're going to do contour line drawing. All you need is paper and a pen. And no pencil. Nice black felt is the best. And at first, just to start it off, you just got to get the outline of it. You don't have to draw in pencil or do anything like that. So let's just get the outline. And I'm going to start off with a landscape drawing. I think I'll do a vase of flowers. And my picture is just a calendar, recycled calendar already used. As you can see. You can get your pictures from magazines, just normal everyday photographs, anything. And you don't have to have a picture for a reference if you don't want to, right? You can just use your imagination and go for it. Just get the outline of whatever you're going to create down. You can see you're using your imagination. Yeah, I'm making some very interesting looking flowers. Okay, I'm gonna start contour line drawing now. I've got my basic image down, just a vase with some simple flowers. Now I'm going to really spice them up. And you can also contour your lines with shapes, like this one. I'm just putting polka dots all around my lines. I'm just drawing whatever comes to my head. Whatever comes to your head, just go by instinct and start drawing. Contour is just contouring with the line. Whatever line it is, then you're gonna follow that line a certain length, and then you might change it a bit, and then you're going to be following that new line. It's quite an interesting process. You get some pretty wild looking pictures. And turn your paper if it's needed. Yep. Very good point, Bronson. I'm going to 3D this whole flower here. I just go to the edge, put a little bit of a line down, try to get the lines going all the same way. Now I follow that line. Another great thing is to add some nice contrast. So we've got a lot of black lines. How about some bigger areas that are all black? That way you get some nice contrast. Awesome. 
A wonderful aspect about contour line drawing is you can work on these for hours and hours and hours. I've actually started one. I haven't even finished it yet. And it's on homemade paper too. And you can see I could play with this for hours. I want to get more of the black contrast happening. See these nice big black areas? So eventually I'm going to have more blacks going right through my contoured line drawing. And my clouds are beautiful circles. I didn't feel like having the traditional puffy cloud in this one. So I made circles. I like that cloud idea. I like this right here. Yeah. Yeah, you can shake it up a bit. You don't have to, you know, have everything complete. You can add a bit of design even in your in your line. Here's a couple more. They're just ones that we've just started. We, we've got so much more to do with them. I like that sun. And you can see where you could have a lot of fun playing with all those areas. And you can even, of course, add color. Start with just color. Don't start with a pencil, though. That's the whole thing. It's to build your confidence that everything doesn't have to be in pencil, and then you trace your own pencil line. Be bold. Just go with your felts, and you'll see what interesting things you can come up with. Just go with the flow. You don't have to do landscape. You can see Kimmy, she drew a face right here. And you can do contour face. The hair, it's all swiggled around. Nice cheekbones and the rosy cheeks. But just to give you an idea of the different things you can do with contour line. I'm just gonna keep drawing mine. And I'll keep drawing mine. And that's how you do contour line drawing here in the art zone. Just walking through here, about to go to my buddy Nelson's house. Some nice blackberry bushes. Nice little forest back there. Empty little thing for people to chill. Here we are. And here's Nelson's house right here. Let me fill it. One of those he'll have in his transformer drawer. Oh, there we go. How's it going, Bryson? What's up? Um, so Nelson, where's your transformer drawer, man? It's just over here, man. Come take a look. All sorts of stuff in here. Oh yeah, a little bit of everything. Some leather. So buttons. Some buttons. Some old shirts. Strutting the button. Yeah. Maybe a choker, probably. Yeah. Hey. Right. Some toe shoe. Yeah. A bit of cousin. Some cousins. Yeah. Lost the other one or something. Yeah. <laughs> Lost it at the park. <laughs> Uh, what else you got in here? Some more buttons. Eh. These little bulbs. Yeah, man. Use that for the playhouse. Why not? Light up a little room. <laughs> oh, you got a bunch of them. Yeah. You think you take these, man? Go for it, man. Some of them work and some of them don't. Yeah, it's all good. Well, thanks for inviting me over, Nelson, and showing me your cool transformer drawer. Yeah, man. Stop by again. Next time you see these in the art zone, they'll be light bulbs in the playhouse. <laughs> this house is completely done. Everything is made from recycled materials found around the house. You can make one too. Every time we get together, we'll make something new for the playhouse. Are you with us? Then let's get started. 
Welcome to the home zone. Today we're making a mirror, a lamp, and some pillows. You're going to need shredded paper, glue, material, felt, scissors, empty spool of thread, needle and thread, a straw, and some ribbon. So what do you want to do first? Why don't we make the pillows first? Sounds like a plan. We've already started them. And these are zone pillows. Zone. Got her stuffing. She's got to get some shredded newspaper. And if you don't have shredded newspaper, which most people do, you can just get some cotton. Here's your needle and thread, Bonsa. Thank you. Just crunch it up into a little ball. Start packing. You always need extra pillows for when company comes over. <laughs> Tuck it under like this. And all we did was stitch up the sides, a straight stitch, and reversed it. Now all we have to do is fold that over and sew. On your mark. Get set. Go. Oh no, I got a knot. <laughs> I mean, that's bad. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> and I'm, a, I'm a at the finish line. All we have oh, to do no. is tie. Finish line. Oh! <laughs> Still gotta tie my other end. And snap. Great sewing, Bronson. And there it is, our zone pillows. Where would you like to put those? I was thinking maybe on the Chesterfield. One on each side so we can be a couch potato. <laughs> but we're not encouraging you guys to be a couch potato. Now, what would you like to make? Okay, how about if I make the lamp and you make the mirror? Sounds like a plan. Okay. Can you pass me that mirror, please? Yeah. And you know what? It's really hard to um, draw any design on this plastic, so I've cut a piece of paper. I'm going to put a design on this. Are you going to put a design on your frame? Good idea. That's a good idea, too. I'm just going to glue this wood. Try to make the mirror on it perfect, because mirrors don't really have too many crinkles. Bronson, you know where that came from? A bouquet of flowers. There, that's a little design happening now. Maybe outline my yellow, wrap it around my spool. There's our finished mirror. Okay. Now I'm going to do a design for my frame. Just do a wild little design. I got this off a Christmas present. Was that a bow? Yeah. Now I think I'm just going to glue the smithereens out of this as usual. See if the ribbon will stick. And there's my finished colored frame. Now all I have to do is glue it on. Push down. And there's our finished frame. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? How you doing? <laughs> I'm just gonna put some glue on here. I think it's time to go into the house. What do you think? I think so. Okay. Okay. I might have to add a little bit of tape to squish that straw in there. I have an idea. I'll just grab this piece of paper, just wrap it around here, stick it in like that. Where in the world are we going to put it? Oh, I know. On top of the TV. Top of the TV? Yeah. Perfect spot. Okay. Can you reach, Bronson? Beautiful. That's our mirror, our pillows, and our lamp made here in the home zone. We all have special occasions and events in our lives where gifts are given and received. Here at the Earth Table, we will honor those gifts by reusing the packaging, the gift wrapping, and even the cards here in the Art Zone. 
My little brother just had his first piano recital. He played some serious classical music. It was awesome. Man, I was so proud of him. He didn't make one mistake. He practiced and practiced so much every day. He almost drove me crazy, especially at the beginning when it was all blink, 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 blink. But it was all worth it because I was so proud. Now he sounds great. My mom almost cried. She was so proud, so she gave him something he really wanted. She gave him a bubble kit. It's going to be fun on a hot summer day, and we can reuse this cardboard and the ribbons. The rest will recycle. Hey, did you do that again so I could see how it's done? Take a look again. Today we are going to take a look again on how to do a contour line drawing. You will need paper, pencil, and pictures. Nature magazines and calendars are a good place to find landscape pictures. You can draw a face with flowers too if you want. Landscapes are started by drawing the outline of your background. Now, your foreground. Put any detail you want in the foreground. Trees, flowers, rocks. Add a sun and clouds if you want to. Make sure you put some dips and curves in. Aluminum, what a convenient pan. Every time we order Chinese food, we get a few aluminum pans. Ooh, chicken fried rice, my favorite. We always get the number three combo. With egg rolls, that's my special treat. And store-bought pies always have aluminum pans. Mmm, pie. Well, anyway, wherever you get them from, these things are great for wheels on little go-karts. You can pretend like you're a real race car driver. Zoom, zoom. My little brother loves bombing around in his little play car. He never really gets anywhere, but he makes noises like zoom, zoom. You'd think like he was traveling the globe. I think he's gonna be a race car driver when he grows up. They're also good for robots. You could draw a face on right here, or even bend them to make a whole suit of armor. Or you can bake another pie. Well anyways, reuse them or recycle. Hey, did you do that again so I could see how it's done? Take a look again. We're going to take a look again at how to make mirrors, pillows, and lamps. You will need material, wooden stir sticks, stuffing, cardboard, aluminum, plastic lids and bottles, a needle, thread, and glue. Decide what size mirror you'd like to make. Cut a piece of cardboard and a piece of aluminum. The aluminum should be bigger than the piece of cardboard so that you can fold it over the edge. Stir sticks make a great frame. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Now for the lamps. Use small plastic lids or plastic bottles. An empty spool will do. The lid can be your shade, or just use it as it is. Put designs on it or cover it with material. Add a dab of glue to the lid and put it over the small plastic bottle. Matching lamps for the living room would be great. Shred paper or use recycled stuffing for the pillows. Reverse the material and straight stitch up the sides. Make sure you leave one side open for the stuffing. Stitch up the end to keep the stuffing in. You have decorated pillows now. Here in the yard zone, we are committed to treating Mother Earth in a respectful and gentle way. 
That's why we use all recycled materials when we're making art. We want to keep the earth in a good way because we all need clean air and water. A clean earth is important for healthy living, for all beings. So do your best and see what you can do for Mother Earth. Let's all take care of her. Art is seen around us all, every day. From painting, drawing, animation, beading, film, and lots, lots more. Today in the Art Zone, we have a wonderful guest who's gonna tell us about art in their traditional language. Hello, Cliff, welcome to the Art Zone. Hello, bonjour, Branson. These kind of look like antler horns. Why don't you explain a little bit about them? Thanks, Cliff. It's always great to hear your traditional language. Thanks to all of you for joining me today in the Art Zone. Life is good. It's all good. Art and craft making and being respectful to the natural world. See you again soon, and remember, use your imagination and have fun. Peace.